Hey guys, this is Apple Forums, and this is my first Photoshop tutorial. Um, I've actually done this tutorial before and uploaded it, but then I deleted it because it was just zoomed in on one spot, so you couldn't really see what I was doing. Um, yeah, screen flow kind of had a little boo boo there. Um, so just gonna get started on this. You can use this as like a forum banner, um, sorry, a forum signature or like a website banner. Um, if you like the design of this, keep on watching this video because I'll show you how to get it. So, it's going to start off with my width will be 480, my height will be 120, and my resolution will be 72. You can of course change that accordingly to your own size. Um, Alright. Then, we're going to do the Apple logo part. So, this is where this over here comes in. Um, we'll drag this in over here, change this to 15 and T. For me, I have the link for the Apple logo up in the description. So, before I can get started on the Apple logo, like doing everything, we'll need to have our little background done up. So just take a brush, change this to black if it isn't already on black, and just make sure the whole of the back is black. And I'm just gonna choose a gradient, um, change this to white, select the radial gradient, and select the second one over here. Um, foreground to transparent, that's what its name is. Then you're just gonna go somewhere in the middle and drag it um, to the upper left corner and let go. So that's your background. So now you can move on to the Apple logo icon. Um, just double click on it and you have all these effects coming on. And you're just gonna edit it. So drop shadow, check that. Um, <coughs> sorry. Blend mode will be multiply. Change the color to 9. A B D F zero. Alright. Um opacity will be forty-five. Um ignore this. Distance will be five. Alright. Um outer glow blend mode will be okay. outer glow blend mode will be screen. Um, opacity will be 75, change this to white. Alright. Um, inner glow, blend will be screen, opacity, oh my apologies, while well, outer glow, the color is actually, um, 0060 like that. Alright. Inner glow, then it's white. Alright, so this part remains the same. And then you're done with the Apple logo over there. Just drag it wherever you want. And now we're gonna get started on the little Apple Forms part over here. Just um, get La Chara, this font, which you can get off the, uh, the font. And I have the link in the description. Um, the size will be 60. The color will be white. And just type it in there. Um, now I'm just gonna double click on this, add the effects again. Drop shadow. Um, change the color to 3F8BE1. Okay. Um, opacity will be 80. Angle will be 90. I check use global light. Distance will be 4. Spread will be 0. Size will be 54. How to go? Blend mode will be overlay. Opacity will be 100. Noise will be 14. Change the color over here to 0066 FF. Right. 
um, all of these over here will be the same. Change the contour to this little hue one over here, the last one, the first row. Um, this will be the same. Uh, okay, and a go. Change the blend mode to overlay. Opacity will be a hundred. Right, nice will be zero. Change the color to zero nine six one F one. Okay. Um. All right, this will be the same. So gradient overlay. Um, we're gonna choose the blend mode as soft light, and opacity will be a hundred. Gradient will be the one with completely white. Um, style the liner. Default is the same. Stroke. Check that. Our size will be one pixel, and position will be inside. Blend mode will be overlay. Change the color to one seven six B F seven. Right. Um. That's it for this part for the effects. We want to make this little line over here. Um. Let's drag this more towards the side, and let's zoom it. Okay. So you're just gonna select your um rectangle tool. Okay. When you click on it. Um, they'll ask you to rasterize it. Click OK. So, um, now I'm just gonna draw a little line from uh, across the layering right in the middle. And there you have it. This little line over here. Um, yeah. So, that's it for the Apple Forms part. Now let's move on to um, this little logo over here. Okay, um, let's go to text and new one. I'm gonna use Helvetica and bold for Windows users. It's perfectly fine to use a real bold because it looks almost the same actually. Um, change the size to 24 and there you have this over here you can just drag it to like right below uh, towards the end of the words and double click this edit the what you need for this one um, drop shadow Blend mode will be multiply, change the color to 9, 8, BDF, 0. No, wait, hold on. Um, change the. Alright, sorry. It will be black. Um, the blend mode, change it to normal. Opacity will be 100. Angle will be 90. Make sure you use global light is checked. Um, distance will be zero. Spread will be twenty eight. Size will be four. Okay, so that's it for drop shadow. Moving on to inner shadow. Um, change this blend mode to normal. Uh, change this to white. Okay, opacity will be a hundred and go be ninety distance will be one choke will be a hundred size will be zero now gradient overlay um choose uh blend will be normal capacity will be a hundred and gradient you be using this one over here neutral density so uh, leave the rest as it is and there you have it somewhat similar
because I can't do the same thing, the exact same thing twice. It kind of is impossible. Um, so now we're just gonna work on the little bat thing where it goes apple forms again. Bat, which makes it look even cooler, actually. So we're just gonna create a new layer. Um, at text, this one will be impact. The font will be impact. The size will be 140. Um, I'm just gonna start typing in Apple for. Sorry, I made an extra layer there by accident. Um, alright, so you just drag the Apple forms one over here. Then center it somewhat. Photoshop will allow it. Um, you just drag it right above your gradient um, layer and you're gonna change this to overlay and the opacity will be um, 28% then you're gonna change the color over here to something we've been using since just now click OK then go to your brush tool and you see this little error sign or whatever you want to call it and you click on it and say rasterize um, whether you want to rasterize just click OK and now you'll be able to just like um, paint on it without hitting the words and you have a pretty cool banner which is almost the same as the first one I did so that's how I make the banner um, I hope you guys enjoy this and put this into good use um, I'm no graphics student like I've never actually had any computer courses whatsoever so um, I just figured this out of my own after playing with it for a while so I hope you guys um, truly like this um, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.